Okay, so we're out of an A minor here first, and we're gonna go one, two, one, and I'm suggesting that you put your thumb on the fifth string of your picking hand, and you do this one, two, one with your ring finger here. Okay, so that's one, two, one. And I'm gonna suggest that you play strings one and two with either your ring or your ring in your middle. Both will work really well. Okay, so again, one, two, one, that was my ring. For some reason, I went to my middle on the second string here, go figure. <laughs> And that's still out of an A minor shape. I'm playing that D note, that mm -hmm. third fret on the second string. And I'm still holding my A minor shape. And I went. And that's where I played one, two, three, four. So that whole thing, one, two, one. This is all on two, third fret, first fret, third fret again, first string. Second string, third string, fourth string. And then I'm going to hold my A minor chord still and I'm going to play one string one and two. And then I played ring middle, is how I did it here, so they, <laughs> that works. This is where you go to a D minor shape here and you play the sec, that same dog on D note, third fret, mm -hmm. second string twice. That's fish are jumping. And then this is where you nudge, you pick this up and you nudge this guy from the D minor to there, from the first string to the second string. Okay. And you play two, three, two, and then you play that D note once again. Mm -hmm. uh, ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Then you lift this, then you lift that, and then you do your E lift. Then you go back to your A minor, that's one, one, two, one. Then the same thing that we just did. And then you're going to play C, A minor, D minor, E, A minor. A minor up to E. Now you can stop it, and I'm just going to play it. Yes, yeah, so I want to hear it played too. So I can aim for that once I get it under my fingers really good. Tell me when you're going. Oh, I'm going. Okay. So, yeah. Now we talked yeah, about, yeah. and I want you to work on this, okay? Okay. We talked about, this is a little codified, so I'm going to oh. say five, four, three, two. Okay. Sit them there in the middle four strings. You got four digits. This guy doesn't ever do anything. So you got these four digits okay. to play with. You're going to stick them on. And for this, for the most part, that's mm -hmm. what you're doing until you go to the D minor chord. Then you take these guys that are on five, four, three, two, and put them on four, three, two, one. They just shift, okay? So what we're gonna do is this little chordal lick that we did a while ago. And so I've got an A minor chord. I've got my right hand on five, four, three, two, okay? And I'm gonna play the fifth string, my bass string, my A. So I'm playing thumb on five and then plucking four, three, two together an A minor chord. Then I go back and I'm going to play five again with my thumb open and I'm moving this up two frets. And this is the tricky one. Now I'm going to move this guy up two frets, but I don't want that note on the fourth fret. I want the fifth fret. So I just put my pinky down, which is conveniently located hovering over it, hopefully. So A minor up two frets gives you a B minor. B minor uh, up one fret gives you an actually C chord. So it's like. If you were doing this, playing this behind Nora Jones, this is exactly what you'd play. It's that cool. So it's like totally would work. It's nice. not, not dumbed down or anything. It's mm -hmm. really cool. So that's kind of the rhythm thing I'm playing. Now, the other rhythm thing I'm going to play is almost the exact same thing on the next set of strings. So it's a D minor. I've moved this guy to four, three, two, one. It's just down a string each, up a string actually, mm -hmm. but physically down. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pluck the D string, the fourth string with my thumb, and I'm playing a D minor chord. Just like I moved my A minor chord up two frets, I'm gonna move the D minor chord up two frets. And just like I played at a regular A chord instead of my A minor, I'm going to play a D chord here, 
by moving my ring finger up to the sixth fret and changing the shape of these guys from a D minor shape to a regular stock D shape. And that's... And the ring finger stays planted. Yeah, the ring finger, watch the, watch the ring. Second string, second string, stays on the second. These guys mm -hmm. flip around, which is kind of like a pain in the butt, but that's what it takes to do it. So that's the rhythm. your E lick that you're going to use. And remember how you played it like fingers and I said, no, nah, let's play it out of an E shape. Okay, so that's that lick. So now I'm just going to, now let's, you can stop because that's